If you've ever edited a video, you know that the timeline lies at the heart of the editing experience. The layout of the timeline can give you so much control over your edit and help you craft your videos to perfection. That's why we've created a super intuitive but powerful timeline within the InVideo editor to help you completely customize your videos and make them stand out. So in this video, I'll give you an in-depth look at the InVideo timeline and all of the tools you have access to. This is gonna help you make the most of the editor and create more engaging videos. Sounds super useful, right? Let's get into it. First things first, you're gonna to wanna to sign up for an InVideo account if you haven't already done so, so I'll go ahead and drop a link in the description below where you can sign up. Once you're signed in, you can select any one of our templates, and this is gonna load up the video editor where you'll see all of your scenes lined up next to each other. The first tool is the slider here. You can use it to zoom in or zoom out depending on if you wanna see the scenes in more detail or if you want more of an overview of your whole video. Next, if you click on any one of your scenes, you can easily increase or decrease the duration. Then from here, you can also delete your scene if you wanted to and duplicate your scene. And as you can see, it's also super easy to add new scenes and swap the positions of your existing scenes on the timeline. The next tool you have on your timeline is the transitions tool. There's a little box in between all the scenes. So if you wanna add a transition between two scenes, all you have to do is click on the box that pulls up the transitions menu and you can just select one and it adds it in. Again, super easy. And if you do wanna get a more detailed look at each of your scenes, you can open up the timeline for the individual scene. On this more detailed timeline, you can see each of the elements individually. You can see when it comes in, when it goes away, and then you can change the duration of any of the elements by dragging it. And if you click on any of the elements in the timeline here, it will select it on your canvas, so you can edit it there as well or you can click on any element on the canvas and then down on the timeline, a bar will appear that represents that element. So you can also control the duration and the in and out times for each element from here. And then moving down to the bottom of the timeline, you see there are two bars for audio. One of those bars is where you can add a voiceover and the other one is where you can add a music track. And then once you have audio files in those bars, you can hover over them. It'll say edit right in the middle and that gives you access to some audio tools. So you can adjust the volume, you can trim your audio track, you can make it play on loop throughout the video, you can duplicate it, or you can delete it. Even with NVIDIA's super user-friendly timeline, editing can still get daunting at times. So that's why we've made it super easy for you to reach out for help at any point. You can simply use the support chat window to reach out to an InVideo expert. You can just type in your question and an InVideo expert will answer it for you. That's available 24 seven and we will get you up and running again in no time. If you found value in this video, make sure you give it a like and go check out our next tutorial where we show you how you can leverage over 5,000 existing templates to create gold standard marketing videos. I'm Teresa with NVIDIA and I will see you in the next one.